Yeah, this LQ9, which is a high compression six liter. I'm gonna take this motor and put a 585 230 cam in it. And uh, so the LS springs like we did on the LQ4. And uh, we can make a little bit more power with this motor. And it's gonna be the motor that goes in this truck here. So to to go back over that, like I said, it's will be the the LQ9 high compression with a cam. This is a Muncie five speed out of a 06 Silverado. We're gonna build a we're gonna build a 12 bolt. This is a 308 12 bolt here. We're gonna build a uh, a 373 Posi 12 bolt to go up underneath of it. Then we've got lower inch springs, two inch blocks, two inch lower inch springs, two inch blocks, uh, drop drop uh, shocks. It's going to have full of disc brakes on it. Um, we've got two inch spindles for the front. And uh, Pretty much all front, all new front suspension stuff, power steering, and hydro boost brakes, uh, brake booster instead of vacuum. That way, we ain't got to worry about the um, the cam and the power brake system. So that's where we're at right now. So finally got to the point where we can get this thing where we can really work on it well. And hopefully we'll get some stuff going on. Like I said, uh, got the tank, the sender, the fuel pump. I've got some lines. I'm going to um, plumb some lines up here for the um, fuel lines. Got the promo brake lines. And... Um, Get all that done, get it into a roller, and then we'll switch the cab out, and then it's really gonna roll on from there. We got the, uh, this is a factory, this is a factory automatic cross member here. And this is a, a second generation cross member here. Second generation Camaro, excuse me, second generation Camaro cross member. And we're gonna figure out which one we can make that's gonna be the best clearance for us. And then we've got to do a drive shaft. I think we're going to go with the factory two-piece setup. So the rear shaft will stay stock length and we'll have to make the front part of the shaft work. Um, so that's kind of where we are right now. Um, but like I said, once we get it a roller, the rest of it will come together pretty good because um, we're not doing much in the way of painting and body. Like I said, I got these, uh, I've got these fenders that I really wanted to build this truck around. I love the patina on these things. So we're gonna try, I've got, and I've showed you in the past, I got the fenders, the grill, the doors and the tailgate, which I mean, I, ended, I had the whole truck, but there's not much paint on anything but the grill and the fenders the rest of it most of the paint baked off of i mean here's the gate it's got some on it the bed didn't have any on it which the bed one of the bedsides is pretty crunched up and i've got this is the cab i'm gonna use and it's in pretty good shape um but i want to use the doors that match but I'm going to use this bed. This bed was a factory wood floor bed. So I'm going to use it. And I think eventually we're going to try to make the patina match on the fenders with the doors. And I mean, the fenders are going to stay where they are. We might try to put a little bit more paint on the doors and then match the bed up to it. I'm going to run this, this step bumper just because it's, it's the same. I mean, it come on one of these trucks and I think it looks cool. And of course my old raggedy 
my old raggedy 67 plate which i built this particular truck around that license plate well this is all going to transpose over to my new chassis and then i've got the cone bumper that come off of the 60s the blue 67 that's going to go on the front and uh that's going to be my little truck and i think it's going to be pretty cool we've got a, a set of these cooper tires on on rallies and we'll run the I got a nice set of rally center caps and I don't know, I got some rings, but with the rat look, I don't know if I'm gonna run the rings or not. I might just run them with the caps and no rings. But it's gonna be, uh, I got three inch drop spindles for the front. And like I said, it's gonna be dropped forward in the rear. I might, I don't know, I might have to drop it a little bit more in the rear to get it to set the way I want to. We'll just, we'll have to see how it goes when I, when I get the body sitting on it, but it's definitely going to sit the way I want it, regardless of what I got to do to make it sit that way. Uh, uh, I don't want it too low, but I don't want it factory. I want it to, I want it to hug a little bit. So that's what we, that's what we're looking at, and I think we're going to have a pretty nice little truck when we get done. Um, I mean, I've got a bunch of these old trucks. And I'm going to fix some to sell, but this is going to be my personal truck here. I always like the 67 body style. And uh, I'm building this truck just like if I could have ordered it brand new with the, the new 6 liter and 5 speed. And I'm going to run me a, a 2.5 inch dual set up with Flowmasters on it so it should sound good. And... Uh, the headers are going to fall out pretty nice. They look like they're going to have plenty of ground clearance for us, so I think that's going to work out nicely. I mean, I really think that's going to turn out really good. I like my exhaust really high. I don't like to see a whole bunch of it, and I think that's going to be good. So, um, y'all hang around and y'all see what happens, because it's getting ready to happen. I know it's been slow. If y'all think it's been slow on you, you can imagine how it's been on me because this truck has been in the works for, oh, probably since 2000, 2011 or 2012 maybe. So it's been a minute, me trying to get things together. You know, life is, it's not like the TV shows where they just, can spend a whole bunch of money and boom they got a car I mean I had to buy the parts as I could and work and other jobs and life kind of got in the way of things I know Jonathan W people fuss at him all the time about you gonna finish a job or whatever finish a project Jonathan works seven days a week I don't work seven I work five but then I got other things that people don't realize you know you got a life you want things to go just as fast or faster than other folks want to, especially people that's watching you, but sometimes life has a different plan for you. So, and, and personally, I like to have a bunch of different projects going on. People don't understand when you get into a bind on one, sometimes you need to back up and regroup and, and think about what's going on or you have an issue with it. And if you got more than one project going on, then you're not dead in the water. You can back up, think on this for a minute, and work on something else for a little while, and and uh, it when you get back on the thing, and it looks a lot better. I mean, like my little S10 here, I ain't forgot about it. I mean, this is definitely a project that I'm gonna finish up. But when I was in the heat of it, things come up, and they didn't, they weren't working exactly the way I wanted to. So I stepped back from it for a little while, and. I'm gonna get back on it and it's really gonna turn out nice, but I mean I had to back off it for a minute. And this 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 project right here, I've been working on this project right. I bought this car in 1979. It's not been on the road since 1983, really. And uh, I'm collecting parts for it, and it's getting ready to start coming together real soon here. Uh, I got a this thing took a took a hit in the nose a couple of times before I got it and and I 
I bumped into something one time when the brakes give out on it, and so it needed some love in the front, and I, I got me a new balance panel, and I got me a, a new header panel, and I got all the grill pieces, and I got me a new core support. I got, I got pipes, I got a motor and transmission. I got the stuff to put it together with, it's coming together. I mean, I still, I mean, guys, we're building vehicles from scratch here. It takes a long time, especially if you want to do it right. Um, you're making a bunch of stuff work together that was never designed to work together. I mean, I think my little key to this car right here, it's a 67 model. The motor come out of a 97 model. So it's kind of like the 30th anniversary kind of deal going on with it. Uh, so I think it's going to be cool. I mean, it's really going to be cool. LT1 six speed with 373 gears, 12 bolt positive traction, all brand new from top to bottom, inside and out. Uh, it's going to be black and it's going to be beautiful. And it's going to have the, the required Z28 stripes. I'm, I'm torn between white and silver, but I'm kind of leaning towards silver. Um, and a lot of people might not like it, but it was a base model car. Power Glide 327 car. And uh, I'm going to make me an SS clone out of it because I think everything that I'm putting into it, it's going to be SS worthy. So... Like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be SS clone. I got in in '79 when I bought it, I bought a brand new SS gap gas cap from the dealership for it, and uh, that started it all. And that's the grill emblem. I got the fender SS fender emblems that go right here on the front of the fenders. That's all the exterior SS emblems. And then I need. I had a 68 SS horn button on it, but the 68 is different from a 67. 67's got a chrome button. The 68 is a um, satin finish, so. But other than that, I mean, it'll never be for sale, so it ain't like I'm trying to screw somebody and sell them an SS that's not. It's a clone tribute, whatever you want to call it, but it's mine. I'm building it the way that I want it to be. I ain't putting a rally grill in it because I like my. I like my 67 round turn signals. I mean, I've had the car a long time, it's grown on me. I really wanted a 69, everybody wants a 69, but I got the 67 and that's what I like now, so that's what it's gonna get. It's always had a cow hood on it since I've had it. You can't see it up underneath all this mess, but it's got a factory cow hood on it. I mean, I bought the car and a day later, somebody comes up in the yard wanting to give me my money for wanting to give me their hood and double my money on the car for the hood. So I would have had my car for free and made money and had a flat hood. But I was like, man, something don't sound right about this. So I kept my hood. You couldn't get them back then. You can get them now, but mine is factory. Not for this car, but it's factory hood. But anyhow, that's what we got going on here in the shop. And... Of course, you guys, we ain't forgot my old cab over here. We get this uh, Denali out the shop, man. I'm a, I'm gonna build me a little dolly to put this cab on where I can mock the fenders up and make some measurements and stuff, so I can figure out what kind of chassis I'm gonna try to slip up underneath. Thought I got, I got that, I got that box truck chassis, but I, I don't know if that's gonna be what I'm running. I, I got some other irons in the fire and, and uh. You know, a good plan always progresses and changes as it goes. And so we'll we'll figure it out as we go, but I got a bunch going on. We're gonna show you a bunch of stuff if you hang with me. So just hang with me and, and watch watch some stuff happen here. Y'all y'all stay with me.